All right, what is going on guys? It's Sam the Trucker here and uh, welcome to another vlog. Um, today we're actually start well, we've already done two drops so far today, um, but I wasn't going to video them because I'm not actually allowed to video them once, so yeah. Um, but right, so today's job, we're actually going to be in Linwood at the moment um, and then we are heading out to Troon to get some golfing equipment to take back to Springfield near Cooper. Um, so we'll be vlogging that today. Um, I'll show you guys like sort of look getting tied down like we'll actually be using uh, ratchet straps for this one Woo! Um, So yeah, I'll show you guys that um, So yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a decent vlog the weather's looking decent today um, It's not much wind so there shouldn't be too much noise So hopefully Fingers crossed it's gonna be a half decent day today um, As I said we've already done two drops start at half past five this morning so at this very moment in time, that's my best friend. Yeah, product placement. And also as well, I've also had a nice wee shout out from Dave and Vanessa across at Kingdom FM. Um, that basically they're asking about uh, like what sort of side hustles everyone's got. Um, and I actually rang up and said that obviously we do the channel. Um, basically telling them like what the ins and outs of the channel of what we do, um, what we will be doing from now on and basically just yeah give them a low down and maybe a little bit of pr for the channel as well um so they've popped it up on their facebook page uh, which is kingdom fm um and go give them a follow across on twitter as well at kingdom fm so yeah we'll see what today holds we'll see if it's going to be half decent weather across at troon but only time will tell Right, so the next time I'll see you guys will be in Troon, because um, I'm actually as I'm sat on a bay at the moment in Linwood getting unloaded, so yeah, I don't know how long I'll be sat here for. But yeah, right, I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, so here we are at Dundonald. Um, I don't know how well you can hear me, because I've got the engine going, and obviously the engine's quite loud. Um, so yeah, we're at Dundonald just now. Just a quick disclaimer as well, this is actually a private road, so it's, I guess it's alright for filming. Um, so... Yeah, we're going to go up, spin the truck round, um, and then wait for the guy to come down and say, yeah, we're going to this place to get loaded up. So, yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Um, the wind isn't actually too bad down here. It's quite bad yesterday, uh, to the point where the curtains are actually flying a little bit, but I managed to get that all sorted. So, uh, so it's not that one, it's the next one. So yeah, we'll just boot all along here and hope that no one's playing golf and no stray golf balls come flying at us. Um, but that car park off to the right there, I think we might be loading that. Yeah, judging by the looks, I think we're loading out of there. Um, so we're gonna go up to this one, uh, this wee car park here, spin the truck around um, and just basically, as I said, just wait for the forklift driver to come down and uh, give us a wee guide of where we're actually going. So yeah, easy enough day. Easy enough. Oh, there's a wee buggy. There's a buggy. There's a buggy already there. Just spin himself around the net. Let them all out because we've got to go in there, spin the truck and just wait, I guess. On the plus side though, the guy's bring me, bring me down a bacon roll, so... It's not all too bad. So we get free bacon roll out of this. So that's, yeah, bonus, breakfast. And followed by lunch later on. And around we go. Get a right round. So basically we're still back in line with the front of this. And bada bing, bada bim. Jobs are good in. back and get her out of the way and just wait for the fault of the driver to come down and say yep we're on the go there we go a lot of mirror checks going on that's for sure right and as if by magic boom done 
All right, so it looks, it looks like we're actually getting loaded at the car park that we uh, spun around at. So, yeah, let's go get some curtains open. Right, I don't know how you can hear me because of bloody wind. But yeah, all right, we'll crack these curtains on. There we go. All right, one curtain. just like that. Yeah, so as you can see there we've got the curtains all tied up. It's empty. Don't know how many of them we're going to get on but we'll see. But yeah, job is a good one. Right so I've got three straps out already. I've got one which is already on the top of that. So I suppose I can fit down the back of these lovely stillages as well. We'll get another one. I did try doing it on one one take, but uh, the video decided to cut out. So yay! Right, pop you there. Boom. Second time lucky, I guess. Uh, right. uh, I don't know how many of them are actually getting put on the truck today, so I'll we'll just take it as I comes. I think. All right, next one. We're getting there. We're getting Issues, pop you there. Right, took this last one off. Well, I say last one, but I mean last one for now. And that'll be the pole hitting off the pillars. I'm still here. Right, it's off. Thank God for that. Whew. Got there in the end. Ha. Thankfully, I can grab. Oh, there you go. Thankfully, I can grab the wheel from here. And boom, just like that, we've got all three straps on, all three are buckled down, well, not buckled down just yet, that's uh, the next part, I guess, so we'll quickly do that, I'll show you that on one the now, pull down straps, your best friend when you've got timber.
Oh, hopefully, so we'll bring you over here. Bring you across here, yep. And I'll pop you in there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Walk back out of frame. Slide that through. Up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Alright, and then just a case of pulling. Oh yeah. Alright, pulling that down, clamp that shut. I'll leave it at frame again. It's what we do. Yeah. Oh, right, that's one done. What I'm going to do is now I'm just going to do the rest, or do the other two off camera since you've got a rough idea of what we do. There's a plane over there. Okay. I thought, oh, Prestwick. Of course. I was wondering why he was quite a lot of banking around to the right, I think he was. But yeah, so, right, I'll get the other two done off camera, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've managed to get all three down for now. Just noticed that there's one pillar because it was doing me heading up there. So yeah, I've got three on the now. That one at the end um, was actually a little bit of a nightmare to do because it decided to pop up. I'll show you exactly where it decided to pop up. Now I'll get blinded again. Three, two, one. Yeah. Right, so got stuck in that that bit there because it popped off the reel on the underside yeah, there, we there we go so it popped off from that and decided to go up there instead of sitting on that little bit there so now it's just a case of waiting for the guy to come back again that same plane oh he's on a landing circuit i think so yeah we'll get him we'll get the rest of this lot on which by the looks of it on that road somewhere so yeah we'll get the rest of these on I'll get them strapped down again off camera um, and we'll just go from there so we've got three stillages on already probably another three maybe four I'm not entirely sure yet just depends on what's going back and all that sort of stuff so yeah we'll just leave them to it now um, so we'll strap them off camera and then we'll just get going from there so I'll see you guys very shortly so at the moment we're currently waiting on one, maybe two more um, like weed pallets, I think. Um, so we'll get them strapped down. We've been here for about, how long are we waiting? About two hours now. Um, so we are still getting loaded. There we go. So uh, we're still getting loaded. Um, but yeah, we should hopefully be back on the road soon. And yeah, some boys just came down with a few more bits of fence to go on that weed pallet. Um, so yeah, that'll get strapped down again as well and then it's off to Springfield to drop this all off um, so yeah should be quite an easy easy drive back it's the wind has picked up a wee bit um, so we just have to take it easy and just drive to road conditions <clears throat> which should be relatively easy as long as no one decides to try and cut us off again because that happened yesterday fair to say they got a fair case of tons but yeah, so we'll get on, get these on, get them strapped, get going, and I'll probably see you again once it's all loaded up and good to go. Um, so, hi, anyway, right, see you shortly. Right, so after three hours of waiting and getting loaded and getting strapped down, we are finally good to go. So now it's just a case of a nice two hour drive all the way through to Springfield. Yeah. Yeah. Two hour drive or two and a bit hours to get there. Um, through Glasgow, well, basically from here onto the M77, then the M74, and then from the 74 onto the M8, M8 to the M90, M90 to the E92, and then basically just stay on that till we hit Springfield. So, yeah, it's going to be a long drive, but it's a nice enough day for it. The wind's slightly died down now. Bloody typical concerned the fact that we're now about to set off and the wind has died down so yeah next time i'll be seeing you guys will be in springfield uh, when we'll be getting unstrapped offloaded and then hopefully fingers crossed that's us for the day 
but we'll see. So I'll see you guys in Springfield. So that's the load all unstrapped. So if you remember earlier, we only had three of those stillages on. So we've got, I think I just got another one put on. No, yeah, we did. That one put on. So we've got all that to come off. Um, so hopefully that won't take too long actually, including those fences too, which are the exact same color as them ones. Um, and I believe they're actually used, well those ones over there, were actually used for the open. So yeah, things you, things you learn, things you learn on the job. Um, but yeah, made it, thank goodness. Apart from as I trafficked in the, uh, in the M90, but that's to be expected around about this time on a Friday. Everyone rushing to get home. So, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is us made it to Springfield. Um, so yeah, it's quite an easy drive, apart from the traffic on the M90, which is to be expected around about this time on a Friday. So yeah, we made it in time. Everything's all still in one piece. Yay, straps did work. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here as well. Um, I'd just like to thank you all again for the massive support that you've shown for the channel um, and for the previous videos as well. It's meant like an extreme amount to me. Um, like getting over 200 views on a video, I didn't expect it to get that high. So yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. Be sure to make uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe um, if you're new around here. Welcome to the world of trucking. So yeah, guys. Uh, again, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, I will try and get a vlog out once every week, possibly. Um, just depends how busy work, work is and just really if I have the time for it. So guys, I'll catch you later on. Adios.